right? Uh, who this here? Sasha say, don't tell me to shh. Jody took him from someone. He was literal. No, baby love, you have that one wrong. Because he told me that story. He told me that story. And I know, and I know the doctor lady as well. I might not have met her, but she called his phone once because she needed some help from him. That, that, no, I, Lady Renee, please do not come here with, with mix up. That's, that's far from the truth. He was engaged before he met me. I met my ex two years after that engagement. Two years. Get it right, honey. Get it right. Two years. But then again, him tell me so much lies. So who knows? Who knows? Right? But I've never met any ex. I only heard him told me about how wicked this ex was. The ex that pulled the knife on him. I also heard him tell me about, yes, they were engaged. And they flew to Florida to buy the rings. He flew back to Jamaica before her. And one week before. Police officer friends, get it right, Renee. He brought his police officer friends. My aunt is also a, poli a police who was working that particular evening. So she knows that story very well as well. And uh, he asked some of his squaddy to help bear witness to him moving things out and not damaging anything at all. Right, so I know that story. And my ex stepkids told me about that story. So I don't need you, Lady Renee, to be one of those people who take hearsay, okay, and not know the facts. I value my reputation very much and I value my character very much. I did not know my ex-husband before I got married to him. I didn't know where he was from until we had our first conversation about his event, Gospel Tenacity, that he booked me for to perform. So I met my ex-husband through his event, Gospel Tenacity, that he eventually asked me to take over for him because I am a recording artist, which I did and grew that event to what it was up to the last one that we had. Yeah. So don't get it twisted. Yes, he was engaged. Again, I reiterate, he has been engaged before. He also got baptized, went into so-called church. The marriage didn't take place because he said that she had another man. She was cheating on him. Right. So anyways, that is that for now. So what may I say now? Right. So. You know, so what I want to say is I'm praying for Chrissy because I know what it is like when you're in a public space, you put so much about your life out there um, and then the same person that you love so much turn around to bring dishonor to you. You understand? Yeah, to bring dishonor to you so you know that's 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 basically that i saw it and i sighed and i felt heavy and i felt sorry for her and i felt sorry it's so weird but me feel sorry for you man too because one of the worst thing what we can do to ourselves i become public enemy i become public enemy right so, you know, life is very mean. Life can be very mean. Let us get that right. Life can be very mean. The same people who cheers for us, the same people that cheers for us when great things are going on for us are the same people that... You know, they're the same people who can become our enemies as well. They are the first set of people to help spread some information around 
that they have no proof to 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 to, to you know to say that this is the situation but we have to be careful and we have to learn to be empaths we have to learn to be empathetic for you know for for people out there because you have a lot of people who are scared to say their two piece about what they are enduring because they are afraid that people are going to call them yamets. And I've seen that. I've seen how people have been bashing Chrissy and stuff like that. But, you know, it's, it's very, it's very, very sad. You know? So, I don't know. I don't know what they plan to do. I don't know what advice I would even give because before this video surfaced today with another woman kissing her husband um, I saw another video lately where both of them were saying they're not going to leave each other you understand? and in my head I said what is this girl waiting on a bucket of AIDS? is she waiting for this man to literally bring disease come let off in her belly? That are the only thing me start think about. Me start scratch because me I say, ew, you don't know, you know, the health situation of another woman's VJJ. You get me? You don't even know the oral situation about another woman's mouth. Because when your husband and those women are not together, who are they with? How many people are they with? You understand? So... It's just crazy. So this is no 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 no. This is this is this is not about what is this person saying no if me and a Christian. So it is non-Christian to speak about marriages and love life and and sex and uh, you know, anyways, let me not get this distracted. So the thing is AIDS is a thing. AIDS is a thing, disease is a thing. So if we are big people and we, if we are big people and we don't know, we don't know about life and what life can bring to us, then that, that, that is sad for you. That is very, very sad for you, you know? So, but anyways, guys, I just wanted to let you all know, remember that value on you. You are kings, you are queens, you are royalties. Men were set to be the priest of the house, of the home. You understand? Um, so I just, I just need you guys to understand who you are. You don't have to stay in a toxic situation that is stressing you out, that is killing you. You understand? You don't have to remain in a situation because you don't know how you're going to start over. I didn't know how I was going to start over. You understand? Even though I'm not even there what I need for that. And I'm unashamed about that. Because I know I work for myself and I'm working hard towards what I need. There are some days, there are some days when... I don't even know what I need anymore because I feel like the battle is so hard to fight. The battle is so hard to fight. You understand? So, Brit asking me how many years I was married. Boy, Brit, we not even did touch the 40 year yet. I left, I left um, the 3rd of February, 2021. And November 25th would have been, that year would have been our fourth anniversary. 2022 last year would have been the fifth and this year would have been the sixth. So it never really gone away and that is why. So no sir, Letty, not tell the lady if you leave none at all. That is why I said to people say, me don't advise people when it comes down to the wire of things like hell come down in a somebody love life people have to understand say you have to go through it you have to go through it you have to go through it 
So, are you a figo feel your own pain? Are you a figo figure out who you be? What you need? You a figo figure out, you know, what you need from it? You have to know you're worth Latin. So I would never tell any man or any woman to leave their relationship. But we can all take a time out and time off to clear our heads to figure it out. Nothing is wrong with shutting off all communication to figure out what we need. No, but this is not about, oh, blame coming on my life. Like, my life is not geared towards those people. I just made one little tiny mention of them. To say I saw the video this morning when I woke up with the guy with another bangarang situation. And I just, I said, I just don't know what to think about it. I don't know what to think about it. And I feel sorry for the young lady because it's in the public. That's all I was saying. I'm just saying it's in the public space. And one of the worst things to happen to us is when our business gets aired in the public space. So we're not going to know how to really deal with it. We're not going to really know how to deal with it. Suppose me telling her, say, I don't even know how all of this start until I think it was like two or three days ago. So I don't really even follow up them stuff here. I don't really follow them stuff up. I, I remember one of my girlfriend, Colleen, sent me a link of Chris's... um. I think it was a YouTube link she sent me and Chrissy's mother's phone rang and her ringtone was my song when I was a little girl so that was when I knew a little bit of what was going on with her her marriage and the situation of infidelity but uh, you know I don't I don't I don't want people I don't want you people to think that because my marriage didn't work, I'm going to tell other people to leave their marriage. No, I knew what couldn't work anymore. I knew that I was the one who was getting sick. I was getting sick. I was losing myself, my mind, my sanity. Um, and that was that. That was really that. I would never ever want to get on the wrong side of the public. But if I have to get on the wrong side of the public by speaking truth, by speaking wisdom, then it's going to have to be the way there. Because I understand that we're living in an era now, we're living in an era now where people are so defending wrongs. You know? People are defending wrongs. And, and that is basically that. Everybody's thin-skinned. Everybody wants to express themselves, bully people on social media, and then when the, the hot seat turns.